setting your priorities. You see, New Year gives us opportunity for refining our priorities. That's why I look forward to New Year's. God gives you at least 6,400 seconds in a day. What do you do? New Year is a time to redefine our purpose. Are we still on course for what we are called to do? Are you doing what you're called to do? New Year is a time to redefine our life vision. What is the vision when you got married? What did you tell her? What did you tell him? What was the vision when you started that school, that company, that business? What was the vision when you did that, when you started that, when you started the shop? Are we still on course? Is it still on paper? Have you written down your vision for your family this year? Have you made any resolutions? Is it just spoken or written? If it's spoken, it's going to vanish in thin air. Because Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 says to write down your vision. Don't just talk about it. Write it down. Let your children see it. Write down your vision. Make it clear and simple. The Lord answered me, write the vision and make it plain on tablets the day he may run who reads it. New Year is a time to bury your past, to bury your past and get over it. You may have had some bad experience last year, 2021. But let me tell you what, God is a God of new beginning. 2022 will not be a repetition of last year. The Bible says those who trust in the Lord will never be put to shame. Maybe you had some bad experience in 2021. I'm going to tell you this year. Start with something fresh. Bury your past. Move on. God is a God of new beginning. Failure is not to be discouraged. Failure is an opportunity to do better next time. 